Hannah here. Welcome back to the channel. For everyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah. I love all things Disney, Star Wars, Loungefly, Harry Potter, so please do consider liking and subscribing. I have an unboxing today. I've got two new pairs of ears. Now, I know I've, if you've seen my videos before, I know I've just done my ear collection. I had these on order when I filmed that one. They've arrived now, so I have more for the ear collection. And then a Loungefly backpack. I'm going to start with the ears. Now, I have got two pairs. I'm going to grab the one to start with. I got these and a few of my other pairs of ears, if you've seen me before, from Once Upon a Craft UK. I will link her information down below. She does some amazing 3D printed ears. Some you can slightly customise as well with what you want on which ear. Two pairs. Um, I've ordered two pairs. I'm not sure which pair this is because they're wrapped up. I'm trying to be careful because it's, wrapped, it's like perfectly wrapped, but be a barbarian oh it's the tangled pair how long have i been saying that i've wanted a tangled pair of ears i finally have a new little glitter confetti right i'm just gonna bung that down there blow the wheel and paper oh my goodness how beautiful are these ears oh i love them so the headband is purple and the headbands that she uses are so comfortable. You can wear these ears all day and kind of sometimes forget that you're wearing them. So the headband is a beautiful lilac -y purple colour. The bow is sequins. Purple sequins. Nice and plain on the back. This ear, which one's that one? Left, right. That took me far too long. The right ear has Rapunzel's tower on there. How, I mean, look at the detail on there. The glitter. Oh, it's so beautiful. And oh, actually, you can see the tiny little parts where you can climb up. <gasps> it's so pretty. The left side, it has Rapunzel and Flynn when they go out on their little boat and the lanterns. Oh, so beautiful. I am so glad that these are my first tangled pairs of ears. First of many, probably. Oh, no, pop them on. Hopefully it matches this outfit. It probably doesn't, but wait, hey. They feel so nice. Like It's such a lightweight pair of ears. Some of the actual official like Shop Disney ears, they push in quite a bit at the back. So after like an hour of wearing them, you got to take them off, otherwise you get a headache. They don't, they don't push at all. They're so comfortable. Taking these on our next trip, I think. Next pair, which will be specific for our next trip. Bought Disney World, which is coming soon. Oh, that's cool. Gently rip again, gently, gently. They are even more beautiful in person than pictures. Shimmy down there, little paper. Flower and Garden Festival ears, because we will be in Epcot. What's the Flower and Garden Festival? taking place so we would want to have matching ears they are stunning it's like spaceship earth is the actual ears themselves and then look at the flowers on there they're so cute like beautiful pastel colors and the green on this headband that like lime mint green sort of color is so pretty oh my goodness and the beautiful flowers and a sequin bow again you gotta love a sequin bow you can see it from the back as well. I'm obsessed. Serious. See, sometimes I think I wish Disney did 3D printed ears, but then sometimes I don't because sometimes the small business ears are the best ones. So, those are the ears. Next, we have a lounge fly backpack that arrived the other day. I haven't taken it out to have a look. I thought I would save that and do it with you. You could probably tell just from seeing through in the life. It's the Tiana. Castle Lounge Fly backpack. Now I don't have all the castle ones. I have Cinderella, Jasmine, Ariel, and now Tiana. I will be getting the Rapunzel one. I didn't get the Sleeping Beauty or Snow White ones. I prefer them when they're a lot more purple. The Sleeping Beauty and Snow White ones had more like pinks and creams to them. Oh, it's beautiful. 
Why does it have a bit of plastic covering on the badge? What is that? Oh yeah, there's like a little safety protective plastic bit on the lounge fly badge. I've not seen that on a backpack before. Maybe they just forgot to take it off. Oh, I'll take that for a later date. Look at this. It's so beautiful. It says Tiana's Palace. Palace? Place? Tiana's... No, it does say Palace. I thought it said Tiana's Place then. Oh my goodness. You see what I mean about the purples and the pinks? Um, I have... I'm going to grab the aerial one just because it's closest to me. Purples and pinks. My favourite colour is purple. I do love purple and pink. It's so beautiful. Oh, and it has a little ray at the front and Naveen. And these flowers, actually, a lot of the flowers in the leaves, they're embroidered on, like they're sewn in. It's so beautiful. It's on the side. So plain on the side, plain on that side, plain on the bottom. But the back, move that tag there. Look, it's Tiana and Naveen when they're human again. Isn't that just beautiful? Would you like a full 360? I love it. Oh, it's so nice. See, the design on the back of these castle backpacks, it's enough to be a design on a backpack by itself, let alone being on the back. Oh, I love it. I'm a sucker for pink and purple. The, they, oh, is it March that the Rapunzel Tangled Castle backpack comes out? I, I want to say it's March or April. Now, I am going to get that one. I know I said about the pinks and the purples. As you can tell, I love Tangled. I have four Tangled Landfly at the moment. That one will make it five, unless I see any other in the meantime, and then I might get more. Um, but that one, I think, has a lot of green to it. If I remember correctly, I'll pop a picture up of the Tangled one. I'm going to get it because I love Tangled. Oh, she's jam packed. Full of packaging. Oh, catapulted down onto the paper. Oh my goodness, how solidly that is packed. She has an inner pocket. She has an inner pocket. I do love an inner pocket. Packaging. My word. More. Now we're at the bottom. She has an inner pocket. What's the design on this? Oh, it's got actually it's the same as this part on the front. So that bit duplicated inside. So Naveen, oh little ray the firefly, some pretty flowers. And that beauteous pocket at the back. of what lounge fly do I take with me when we go to Florida? I don't know. I figured my thinking right now is one lounge fly for Universal, so we're going to Universal, which will probably be the Draco Malfoy backpack. One lounge fly for Magic Kingdom, which actually probably will be the iridescent sequin. I think because I have some 50 ears from Once Upon a Craft as well that will match perfectly with that. So Magic Kingdom backpack iridescent this little beauty hollywood studios backpack will probably be an ahsoka backpack because i'm gonna do my braids i'm gonna have my ahsoka shirt on so i think ahsoka or star wars of some sort i have an r2d2 backpack so it might be him animal kingdom i'm probably gonna take the poor backpack for animal kingdom i was contemplating taking safari mini i think i might take poor I love this one. I took this one on our UK Disney staycation cruise. Got this one from Very Neko. I love that backpack. I think I got this tangled one, actually. I'm just going to grab it. I think I got this tangled one from them as well. Pretty sure. I'm 99.9% sure that I did. Ooh, get back there. What? What's left? Epcot. Because I can meet Spirit Elsa there. If you've seen my videos before, you know I love Spirit Elsa. I don't have a, a Loungefly, haven't done a Spirit Elsa backpack. Hopefully, yet, maybe. Wink, wink. One day we might get a Spirit Elsa backpack. 
hopefully. I have some spirit else ears actually somewhere. They're all packaged away at the moment. So maybe silver holographic sequin could work for Epcot to kind of match with Spaceship Earth maybe. Unseen Spirit Elsa. Or Arendelle Aqua. Arendelle. So possibly Arendelle Aqua. That was my first ever Lounge Fly Backpack. That's the one that started it all off. Hmm. That one could very much work actually. Have I left a park out? No, I don't think I have. Magic Kingdom, potentially Epcot, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios for Star Wars. And then Draco for Universal. I wouldn't wear any ears for Universal. I wonder if you can get... No, I've, I have got, actually, just because I'm I'm Slytherin Hess. I have got a Slytherin headband, just like a normal hairband with no, obviously, ears on the top. So I'll probably take that one for Universal, or I might just tie my hair up. How many lounge flying ears is it acceptable to take with you? Because I'm... <laughs> See, I would love to take one for every day that we go, but then that would make it difficult to buy them when we're there and bring some new ones back. It's that balance, isn't it? And then what spirit jerseys do I take? Hmm. There's so many decisions. So let me know from any of these that you see, which ones you would take for which park, because I'm kind of stuck. I'm not going to show this beautiful bag again because I love it so much. I love that they've done these, this castle series. I really do. It's so pretty. Let me try the back again properly, but properly. Move the straps out of the way because it's hiding the beautiful back. Look at this. It's so pretty. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye